Hi there, it's Kaylee from Crochet Unraveled and today we're going to learn a few different ways of how to hold our yarn when we crochet. The way that you hold your yarn is completely up to you, but what I'm going to do today is just give you a few options that you can use as a starting point and then you can adjust and go from there. There are two main objectives that we want to pay attention to when we're holding our yarn, and the first one is that it's comfortable and you're going to be able to hold your hand like that for a long period of time. You don't want to feel straining in your fingers or your hand or your wrist. And the second one is consistent tension. We want to make sure that the way that we hold our yarn allows us to maintain consistent tension throughout the entire project so when we get to the end it looks really nice and professional. If you're excited to start crocheting, give this video a thumbs up. My mission is to help 100,000 people learn how to crochet and I need your help in doing that. So you can help me by subscribing to my channel and hitting that notification bell so you're notified whenever I post a new video. All right, now that we've done that, let's go ahead and get started. There are actually several different variations of this technique where you wrap the yarn around your pinky and this is option A. So wrap it from the inside to the outside of your pinky and then bring it under your ring and middle fingers and then you're going to bring it back up and over your pointer finger. And when we wrap the yarn around our pinky, that helps to control the tension. And so this option is really great if you tend to have loose tension in your crochet. You can see that when I pull on the yarn, it's very controlled. And you can really get a consistent tension using this method. In option B, you're gonna wrap around your pinky from over, under, and then back over, just like we did before, but this time we're going over the ring finger, under the middle, and then back over the pointer finger. And this option gives you even a little bit more control because you can close or open those middle fingers, and that helps to control the tension even further. Alright, now on to option number two, which is to wrap the yarn around your pointer finger. And I really like this method because it keeps things simple, but it also helps you to both control how quickly the yarn comes through for each stitch. And also, you have it wrapped around your finger, so you can use your pointer finger to help you grab the yarn with your hook. Now option number three, over your index finger and under the rest. This method is perfect for my minimalist <laughs> crocheters. Also, it's great for those of you who find yourself crocheting a little bit too tightly because in this method there's less tension because you're allowing that yarn to flow more freely through your fingers. All right, now on to our fourth and final method. This is the method that I use personally, and that is going over your ring finger, under the middle, and over the pointer finger. I find that this helps me control the tension the best, and it just feels the most natural to my hands, but you choose the method that feels the best for you. The way that you can control tension using this method is to squeeze your fingers tight together or open them up and allow that yarn to move more freely through your hand. The 
By now you should have tested out each of the methods that I laid out for you. If you haven't decided which one you like best yet, try crocheting a chain with each of them. And if you haven't learned how to crochet a chain yet, make sure that you check out my video on that next. To help you get a good start crocheting, I've created the Learn to Crochet for Beginners checklist on my website. Just head over to crochetunraveled.com and sign up for my email list and I will send it straight to your inbox. I hope that this video helped you find a comfortable and effective way to hold your yarn when you crochet. If you haven't yet, make sure that you subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up. Also, be sure to leave a comment and let me know which of those methods you liked the best. Alright, thanks guys. Bye.